Hey there fellow sound otakus and welcome back to my little battle if you will with YouTube if anything I'd say it's nothing more than a dog and pony show in that regard that's just my opinion that's just my observation with everything that has gone on wanted to give you an update of the developments that are going on and my decision moving forward so starting with it to recap if you're not sure there's a video in the description below on the first part of this and this is the update thereof but just to recap my channel was demonetized for an allegement of fraudulent activity on my channel i have reached out to youtube in this regard via their appeal and i asked them a simple question where exactly did that happen where exactly is it and prove beyond reasonable doubt that it's actually fraudulent activity well the communication between them, as you will see in the previous video, I'd say it can be described as a ring around the rosy, if you will, or just beating around the bushes. So ultimately, I got more firm and basically I told them, hey, if you can't prove this, then you might as well just pay me what I'm supposed to get from the accumulation of super chats that I had gotten in the month of April, which by the end of the month, if the amount is over $100, which is the threshold for them to do payouts that I be paid that particular money. So here's an email that I sent to YouTube and I have not received a response as of the production of this video. Hello, I reviewed the Super Chat purchases from April 2023 on my channel, image attached, usernames and comments redacted, and the amount summed to approximately $229.27 deducting the 30% YouTube collects, the remaining amount calculated to approximately $160.48, which is well over the minimum threshold of $100 for a payout at the end of the month. I also checked if there were any chargebacks attached, and also if there was any payout from AdSense attached. No chargebacks were logged, and there is no payout logged in AdSense. With the data presented, you, YouTube, still have not provided any evidence that proves beyond reasonable doubt that I have committed or where my channel contains any fraudulent activity. Being that I should have received a payout early this month, May 2023, and that YouTube demonetized my channel with the accusation of fraudulent activity, it is starting to appear that you, YouTube, are showing through your own system's actions to be fraudulent. Please provide proof beyond reasonable doubt of your accusation of me or my channel committing or containing fraudulent activity. Otherwise, please reinstate my channel's monetization, proceed with the payout of the earnings I accumulated, and also add to my channel any ad revenue accumulated from the videos related to the duration of the suspension of monetization. Your move. Now, was that a little bit stern and probably aggressive? Okay, sure. But at the same time, it's frustrating and ultimately ridiculous that a company as big as this would be this unwelcoming, if you will, to smaller content creators. And I didn't start off as aggressive, if you want to claim, but more so firm in the context of let's not do any kind of nonsense. Let's deal with this for what it is. Because as we all know, YouTube, by their own history, has an issue with being upfront with content creators whom they claim to be partners within their YouTube partner program. So that already has a bad look in itself. So as mentioned before, YouTube has not responded to this and they have failed to provide any proof whatsoever that my channel contained any fraudulent activity. Furthermore, sometime after the email was sent, I received word from the donators that they had received a refund from YouTube, their contributions. So I will give YouTube points for that. They did not keep the money, they gave it back. So kudos to you, YouTube, for doing that. Thank you. However, you have still failed to provide any evidence whatsoever that my channel contains any form of fraudulent activity. So what exactly is fraudulent? What does that word mean? Let's take a look. So according to a Google search of the word fraudulent, obtained, done by, or involving deception, especially criminal deception, unjustifiably claiming or being credited with particular accomplishments or qualities. Now look, I don't remember everything I've done, but I would say with the utmost of confidence, 
I have never done something with a willing intention to be fraudulent. So YouTube, again, you are welcome to point out wherever it is on my channel that I have committed or my channel contains fraudulent activity. I'm still open for that, but I just need solid proof beyond reasonable doubt. That's all I'm asking. And for you to remain silent over a quite a serious accusation, that raises some questions. Furthermore, the individuals who did contribute to the Super Chats in April, they are just as upset as I am, and they are actually continuing to support me. So moving forward, I will not be pursuing any further action on trying to get my channel remonetized on YouTube. Why, you may ask, why not fight this further? You have to understand, some battles are not worth fighting. You don't have to win every single battle to win a war. So you have to look at to what wars are really worth trying to get a W on. A W for each battle does not necessarily mean it's an overall W. You may actually get a W in one thing only to get an L in something even bigger. So you have to weigh what really can count as an actual W. And that's a really important life lesson to learn. Plus, YouTube gave these folks back their money. So if they really wanted to, they can use another avenue as a means to send me their contributions if they so choose. That is solely their decision, and I have no problem if they do or they don't. If you would like to contribute to the channel, just know I actually have another link that I actually use because I am a simulcaster. So I simulcast on multiple platforms. So having a central place that they can go to to send me contributions is a crucial thing. So with that, if you would like to contribute, here is the link right here, and it'll also be in the descriptions and also be set in as any of the buttons on any of the other social media channels that I am on. So at any given time, which if we really look at it, the Super Chats were only available when there was either a live stream or if there was a video premiere. Well, this particular link is available 24-7 and I will receive notifications of the contribution, whether I'm live or not. And if there are contributions that are made while I'm not live, I will be sure to mention those contributions on the next live video. So what have I really lost at this point? As a matter of fact, I've actually gained some things. For the contributions related to Super Chats, YouTube collects 30% of each Super Chat purchase. But for this particular link with Streamlabs, Streamlabs, According to them, do not take any funds whatsoever from contributions. So is that a loss that I'm no longer with YouTube? Apparently not. And if you're wondering how I'm really feeling about this whole thing with YouTube at this point, let me answer it with this little clip. So overall, for those of you who may not know who I am and what I do, please allow me to explain. I go by the stage name Sound Otaku, to which some people, they tend to address that more towards my voice, and I understand. However, it's actually related more to my occupation. So for the last 22 years, I have been involved in sound engineering, if you will, or basically uh, as a sound technician. So being that, I do AV tech, which is audiovisual tech, to which I go and set up professional audio systems and video systems for professional related events. Those can be speaking engagements, those can be concerts, those can be for festivals where there's live bands, those can be for weddings, even though I don't really prefer weddings as much anymore. It's just a lot of work. And I take some of those skills and I teach folks on my channel. So the primary content of my channel, of course, is a lot of entertainment to where I make funny addresses towards characters from video games or visual novels. There's a few of them that I've actually done in the past. And also I do ASMR, if you will. So I do vocal role play ASMR. And in particular, it's a series known as the Big Brother series. And that consists of me role playing as a Big Brother figure for the listener. And in that, I share certain lessons in life that I've learned that can probably help someone else so they can avoid some trip ups or avoid some traps that are known to be in life. In addition, I also have a series called the Life Lesson Series, and this is which I review movies and anime in the character developments and the challenges that the characters face, to which then share 
something that we all can enjoy and also learn from. So with that, if you're interested in checking out my channel, you are absolutely welcome to do so. And also, if you want links to any of my outlets, there's the master link there. And also, I would encourage that you consider subscribing on my YouTube channel, as that's where all the VODs are. Am I going to stop using YouTube just because of this incident? No. There's still use of them, even though I'm not monetized. It's not the end of the world. I have multiple avenues of income, so I really am not negatively impacted by this. And that's another important thing. Have multiple avenues of income. Do not put all of your eggs in one basket because if it was something like this to which that happened and I only had YouTube, I would have been financially in trouble. So when you decide to become a content creator, keep that in mind. Make sure you have backup funds and you have other avenues of income other than just this one. Because when it comes to entertainment, let me tell you something. You're only as good as your last show. So what that means is, the last show is the one that people mainly talk about. Now, there may be some gray area and some exceptions to the rule, but in many cases with entertainment, you're only as good as your last show. So take that into consideration if you decide to become a content creator. So moving forward, I wanna thank everyone for watching this video. Thank you for your time. And until next time, happy mixing everyone. Duke, get this. <laughs>